Welcome to another issue of Tam Hana on Electronic Things. This is going to be a very short video today, only a few minutes, demonstrating you how to get into the service menu of the LeCroy 9300 series scope, which you can see above my head. Most other scopes from LeCroy, at least the ones not based on Windows, will provide similar behavior across the whole range. Well, how to do it? Essentially, accessing the service menu is quite easy. You need to press the buttons 3, 4 and 5 at the same time. Maybe do it once or twice because the scopes are a bit fuzzy about accepting them. One more thing. Sometimes, if they are in stopped or in auto mode, they don't accept the command. In this case, go to auto mode wait until this has been blinking for a bit of time, stop the acquisition, and try the button combination once again. And, ta-da, you see that you're inside the calibration menu. The actual handling of the maintenance menu is very, very similar to that of the rest of the scope. You can, for example, go into the calibration diagnostics, and if you want to go back, you click return. Or you can take a look at the firmware and options stuff, you see here, software options, and then you click return to get back home. Probably the most interesting thing is inside the maintenance menu, where you can perform a variety of tests to analyze the state of your scope. What you will exactly find in the menu depends from scope version to scope version and what I'm showing here is essentially valid just for my LeCroy. So please consult the service manual of your unit if you want to find out more about the actual options. One other interesting thing is the calibration diagnostics which provides you with a variety of diagrams providing information about the status of the sampling system. And you can also press the recalibrate completely button to completely recalib recalibrate the analog front end of your scope. This, however, is not needed normally as the scope tends to calibrate itself during runtime. And if you want to get out of the service menu, you simply press return and normally the scope should be back up. If it isn't for some reason, you simply power it off and on again to celebrate your newly found service maintenance skills. So, once again, scope's powered off. Scope powers on. And we're back. And for accessing the service menu, we wait until it's booted up. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. If it doesn't like it, stop the acquisition. Three, four, five. And in we are. And with that, we are done. Allow me to remark one more little thing. If you own a LeCroix oscilloscope, you should by all means join the Owners Guild. The link is in the show notes. There is an awful lot of really valuable resources in there and it is not a high noise level list, so you won't be bombarded with stuff. And of course, as always, if you liked TAM on random electronic stuff, don't forget, like me, like the video, Subscribe, leave some feedback.